Okay, so the um, P3-2 has um, some different uh, cuts, so whichever way you um, you see this geometry to begin with, we are in an inch part. Uh, if we were to draw the, uh, the base, then I would be looking at opening up a sketch on one of the sides and making a cut from left to right, and then opening up on either the front or the back and making a cut front to back. So um, let's um, let's pick uh, pick some geometry. I think I'm going to go to the top plane and really just want to start in uh, early that um, you're not, you know, we've, we've been doing a lot of sketching on the front plane, but now is the time to transition over to making decisions on how you want to perform these sketches. So this has the default templates and usually we'll try to save um, the, the templates that I create per version. Um, so in my SolidWorks files there may be uh, multiple um, uh, multiple template sets that get updated and saved to the next version so that anything that gets overwritten doesn't conflict and will still work in 2013. So it takes a little bit of management. It's um, it's nice, but it's one of the, the downsides to um, having, well, not having uh, backwards compatibility. So I'm opening up the sketch in the top plane. We'll, um, let's just go with the, uh, the rectangle and we still have the solid body and notice that the right mouse button has a slightly different layout so one of the things that's been um, evolving and developing is the um, the context menus but you should recognize everything that um, uh, that we've been dealing with up to this point and then I need a distance of two inch and from the front to back a distance of one and a half and so when I go into the extrude and still have the selected contours we're going to do this uh, extrude to the full height of two and a half inches and that gives me a block to start with all right, so depending on where we sketch, we could pick the right plane, but since I have a solid face to work with, the main challenge here is making sure that I keep my orientation, my perspective of what I'm sketching. So one of the things when I'm doing a lot of sketching um, in the, the, the 3D space is a lot of times I won't uh, have that rotate into view uh, checked. I'll leave it at the um, leave it at whatever angle. Yeah, let's see, I need a vertical relation there. I'll leave it whatever angle I was sketching in, so that when I go normal to, I have a, a pretty good sense of which way um, everything's pointing. All right, so did not quite get that one to go concentric or um, merge. <laughs> We have, um, and I'm working on the, uh, the left side, so three quarters of an inch. All right, and so now this is the, the time where if you are uh, making, let's see, so this one would be one and a quarter. Um, you know, you're making choices as you go that... Um, you know, there isn't really a requirement that you follow uh, the way that I I sketch it or the way that it's um, uh, that it's being built. All right, so trying to determine if we're missing a dimension coming off of this side, and so it looks like we're missing a dimension on that flat and that flat. So let's see what half an inch looks like. And then we come back around on the, uh, the isometric. I can rotate around, get it into position, and then switch over to features and we're going to extrude cut. And this is going to be a through all so that it um, terminates at the, uh, the far face. Uh, it's probably a good uh, contrast between up to next. 
up to next just looks for that geometry where through all says if it's there it's going through it so uh, through all is going to be uh, going to be fine on this one all right so 0 0.5 0 0.7 1.25 yeah math lines up 1.25 all right so for it looks a little bit different than uh, than the isometric view in the um, in the exercise so All right, so we're leaving a step, coming up and over, back, and we'll line those up. All right, and on this side we have 0.5, and then we have a choice to make. I can put the 0.75, but I pretty much did the math to get to this level, to the um, uh, to the 1.25. So if I were to take uh, one of these edges and control select the line, I could make those collinear. And it will project, even though this edge is not in the plane, it projects it back uh, in that direction and um, allows it to, um, uh, allows those relations to be applied as we're going through the process. Right, and then we need an edge. So one inch, and then features, extrude cut, switch over to through all, and let it find terminating features. All right, so that gives us our shape. And so there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of difference there um, in the uh, the model, but um, we're looking more for the uh, the shapes. Oh, that one was actually one and a half. So we need to come back. So as you recognize the oversights and the errors and the, uh, we're just going to uh, double click and then I need to rebuild to have it update. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And this will also be the 2013 version. Okay.